Are you considering making a move to Dallas, Texas? Well, if so, you are in the right spot. Today, we're talking about winning in new construction. So would you like to know how to capitalize on the explosive growth that we're having and tap into that amazing appreciation that we have right here in North Texas? Well, today's episode, we're talking about striking gold, or shall I say green, in Prosper, Texas. Stay tuned. Hey friends, it's Missy with the Live in Dallas, Texas team. Would you like to know what it's like to live, eat, sleep, and play Dallas, Texas? If so, you are in the right spot. While you're here, make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video added to the channel. Honestly, we get reach out from people just like yourself that are considering making that move via call, via text, via email, and we love it. We love answering those questions and being that resource and your connection to Dallas, Texas. If this sounds like you, then make sure that you reach out days, nights, or weekends, text, call, or email, so that we can help you too. We look forward to being your resource and your help right here in North Texas. So today we are talking about and focusing on winning with new construction. If you remember previous videos or watch some of the new videos that talk about construction, I talk about a couple of key things that you wanna do. One is doing your research. And the second is all about timing. So I talk about doing research. We've done the research on this and this neighborhood is poised for tremendous growth, not only in appreciation, but also just in its location. We are right across from the PGA complex, which houses the uh, headquarters, as well as two brand new golf courses and the new fields development. So Fields um, is going to have all kinds of shopping and walking. Uh, the walkability is through the roof. It's going to have apartments, townhouses, estate homes that back up to the golf course, as well as other villages is what they're calling them. Now, it is going to be amazing. It's not quite built yet like Greens at Legacy is, but your starting prices are going to be $300,000 more. That's why I am really telling you, once you do your research, know that it's coming. It's all about timing. So Greens of Legacy is a brand new development and it's got amazing prices. And that's what you're looking for when you wanna capitalize on your investment, is get that tremendous growth with that skyrocketing appreciation because of what is going in just around the corner. So this neighborhood is gonna have 55 and 65 foot lots and home sites. They're gonna range from 2,400 square feet up to 4,100 square feet, and it starts in the low sixes. It's chock full of amenities, and the kiddos would go to Prosper Independent School District, which is rated A. So absolutely key investment opportunity here in the Greens of Legacy. They have winter specials going on on the houses that are soon to be complete here, as well as houses that'll be done in the spring. We saw $30,000 in incentives on the financing side, and those winter availability houses are um, been slashed in prices from $12,000 up to $25,000 off, making a great deal a superior deal. So let's go in the Greens of Legacy and take a look around. Hello, and welcome to the Greens of Legacy. We are out here today looking at the 55 foot lot and the 65 foot lot homes that are here and just a stone's throw away from the new PGA golf courses and headquarters. Now, if you're not a golfer, that's okay because golfers are not the only ones winning in this neighborhood. Fun little fact, we are a stone's throw away from a new development that's going in and these homes start at $300,000 less. So let's go in and take a look at what these bargain beauties have to offer you. Okay, we've stepped into the one-story model that they have here in Greens of Legacy. 
Before we start doing a quick walk around, I do want to let you know that this neighborhood is so new and so is this model that you're going to see a few things that look just out of place and that's really because they're touching it all up with paint touch up and cabinetry. So if you see anything that looks a little strange, it's because it's still nearing completion, but it's gorgeous. Look at this front hallway and the tr ceiling treatment. So we're just inside the front door. I do want to let you know that I'm going to back up and show you that the two of the primary bedrooms are up front. And again, with construction, you're going to have some extra noise out front as well. So my apologies, but nice front bedroom with walk-in closet for bedroom one. And then right next door would be bedroom two and walk-in closet view out the side of course this is the model so it has all of the designer touches furniture painting treatments and light fixtures they'll be a little bit different than the inventory homes and then you've got a full bath for these two bedrooms to share single sink toilet and tub shower combination this builder does a really nice job with finish out, very thoughtful in their design. The all important mud bench that we're seeing a lot of in Texas, just outside or inside, I should say, of the garage. Our central corridor. And you've got a guest bathroom here to service your outside areas, your living room and your kitchen. Next to that's gonna be your third secondary bedroom and this one has the ensuite bathroom for this particular person that gets to live in this room and instead of the tub shower they did just a standing shower and single vanity then we'll come in on the right side of the central corridor and you've got that flex space room so it really can be used for whatever your household needs. I can see this being like they set it up as an office and sitting room. Or if you would like another living room, you could set that up, a lounge. You could even change the doors and the paint and make it a media room. All on the first floor. This is a single story home. Then you come in and you've got the living room, main living room with doors and lots of windows at the back. So it's nice and bright. You've got your dining area in the back corner and then the beautiful kitchen. One of Jill's favorite features in these homes is when they use all of the space and they did that by putting the cabinets underneath the islands so that you have plenty of places to store all of your goodies. You've got microwave and your oven, your big sink, and then a five burner gas stove. Room for your refrigerator, which by the way is not a standard thing in Texas. It is generally not um, a thing where you leave your refrigerator you take it with you from home to home same thing with washers and dryers i know in some states those items stay with the home but in texas they generally go with the sellers and those double doors are going to be your pantry now we'll conclude the, this home tour with a walk of the primary bedroom your owner's suite if you will also has a nice pretty view of the backyard. I like the ceiling, it's multiple tiered. Give it a little bit of height. Beautiful bed with nightstands. If I pan around, you're gonna see the sliding door, which helps with your space. And then you've got your spa-like bathroom with cabinets that as I said are being tweaked as we speak but you've got your tub shower right behind it and two babies 
One on that side. Closet. Your secondary vanity over there. And then your water closet. So not bad, it's a really pretty house in the Greens of Legacy. We're gonna go and take a look at a few others here in the Prosper, Texas area. Okay, we have stepped inside the two-story here in the Greens of Legacy. This beauty is on one that's on a 65-foot lot and it has this gorgeous study right here at the front with views out the front. And then as I pan around, I'll show you the formal dining room. Hello. Hey, Jill. So in the 65 foot lot um, product that they have, they have 28 different floor plans ranging from 2,800 square feet all the way up to 4,100 square feet. So your house is not gonna look like your neighbors. You're gonna have tons of stuff to choose from. And that's, that's just a lot of different floor plans. One stories and two, so get what you want. Awesome. I love just how open this one is. Wow, look at that ceiling, Joe. I know, I love the curve. It just gives it a different aesthetic than every other house you see. It's what they say about it's true in Texas, everything's bigger. Yes. Another fun fact about this community is it is serviced by the Prosper Independent School District, a award-winning A-rated school district. And for those of you that have elementary age children, the elementary school is on site. So being able to walk or a short drive away to the school would be very convenient. The background noise you hear is the television that they have on for ambiance, so you're not missing anything. <laughs> that nice patio, it's covered with ceiling fans so you can enjoy the outside and the inside. You've got your informal dining and the gorgeous kitchen. Oh, Jill, look at this over here. I think if it was at your house. My favorite, it's a coffee bar <laughs> with lots of storage. That is perfect. I'm like in the countertops. Yes. So pretty. This one looks like it has a six burner gas stove, double oven for those holiday cooking events that we just finished here. Oh, and right around the corner, Butler's Pantry. Okay, just off the kitchen is a guest room or suite, which is nice because it's tucked away by itself. It has a view out the backyard. It looks like a queen size bed, so plenty of space. And this one has its own bathroom, which we call an ensuite. Penny tile, sink, toilet, and walk-in shower. I like the color combinations that they've used in this one. It's very up to date. And then you have the closet in the bathroom, which makes it easy and nice to get ready without disturbing anybody that might be sleeping still. So I'm gonna pan around and head back to the living room so that I can show you a little bit of how this house is set up. So here we are back in the kitchen, butler's pantry area. And as we walk to the other side, if I was a bedding woman, I would say it's probably the owner's suite. So let's go take a look. Okay, so here we go. Oh, yep, there we go. Missy for the win. Looking out the backyard. Wall of accent wallpaper, which is nice. Now, if I was a bedding woman again, I would say that this is going to be an incredible spa feel in a bathroom. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that tub. That is relaxation. Wow, where are the bubbles? <laughs> Just need a couple bath bombs, you'll be fine. Oh, 
you know what? If they buy a house from us, we'll include it. There you go. <laughs> You hear that folks, bath bombs on us. Yeah, the all important seat in the shower. And then this looks like it has a double entrance to the closet. Oh no, it's two separate closets. So. You don't have to share. No sharing with your other. There's one and on the other side of the tub. They'll have number two. And they look to be about the exact same size, so hopefully that will solve any family arguments. Or if you're like me, you just take both. All right, let's go take a look upstairs, see what we find there. All right, we have made it upstairs so that we could see what the second story of this lovely house includes, and I found Jill. So not only is this house amazing, so is the neighborhood. It has all the amenities you could want. A pond, sports field, a pool, pavilion, splash pad, green belt. I mean, if you want it, it's here. So why not take advantage of all the wonderful amenities on top of having the beautiful home? Awesome. So you have this billiard room that we just found and then right attached to it looks like a very nice size family room with plenty of places to relax and watch your big screen television. Look at that. I like it because the walls are a nice rich shade of gray, but with all the windows and the trim work, it doesn't feel dark or like a cave. And so many times media rooms can start to feel that way. Around the other side of the landing, you're going to find your additional secondary bedrooms. Let's take a look. All right, so hallway number one, you've got an ensuite bathroom. Actually, it's going to be a Jack and Jill. So great access to this bedroom here. Jill's checking it out. The football room. So that would be secondary bedroom number two. The first was on the first floor in the master or the owner suite on the first floor. And I was incorrect. This is actually the Jack bathroom. So it goes to hallway and bedroom versus bedroom and bedroom. This is gonna be your next upstairs, your second upstairs secondary bedroom and your third in total. And then I think we have one more. Oh, another room fit for a princess. And with an ensuite. Oh my goodness, the princess gets her own bathroom. So upstairs, we have one, two, three bedrooms upstairs, one secondary bedroom downstairs, and your owner's suite. So a total of five bedrooms in this house. Nice size closet. It's a very spacious, great neighborhood, poised for tremendous appreciation with its proximity to the PGA and the newest development that's going in over there called Fields. And I'll talk about why that is so important here in a little bit, but I always find a money shot in every house that we look at and this would have to be the one in this house. Oh yeah. So there is your tour of the two model homes here in Greens of Legacy. If you are serious about wanting to capitalize on this market that is seeing explosive growth and amazing appreciation in the homes, you're going to want to reach out to us, your local professionals here. We can help you strike it green in Prosper, Texas and other cities as well. But being a local and knowing what's going on and doing the research and knowing exactly where that next move should be, it's gonna take your real estate experts here with boots on the ground to make sure that that happens for you, your family and your financial investment. So make sure that you reach out via text, via call, via email, we're here for you days, nights, and weekends. 
We have your back when moving to Dallas, Texas, and all we need is that list. That list of things that you'd love to see in your home and in your new neighborhood so we can go to work for you. Get that list over to us and let's start working. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.